everybody, welcome back. Unboxing time. Mary's here. Hello. And we're here to open up one of my favorites, the June 2018 Retro Game Treasure. Yeah, mm -hmm. or is it Retro Games Treasure? It's Retro Game Treasure. Mm -hmm. Anyways, very cool box. Uh, I have a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Uh, you can pick, it's, it's Retro Games. Mm -hmm. um, you can pick from all kinds of different consoles and only get things for those. I think you have to pick like four or something. And you can tell them what games you have, what games you want. They have a wish list session, section, and they'll only send you stuff you're looking for typically. Well, they'll send you anything. They won't send you stuff you have. That's what I was trying to say. And uh, this box gives you usually about three, four, sometimes five games, mm -hmm. and uh, we have a real good time with them. Is this the one that will give you like plus ones or something? That's the other yeah, one. one. That's the other okay. one. I don't know if they do anything like that in this one, but I think this one's cheaper. So I mean, okay. you know. Um, and again, you know, some of these games might like the value might not add up to what the cost of the box is but you're saving a lot of time and money and effort trying to find the games true so you know there is that and i did update most of my list but there's always a chance i missed one or two because you know i'm trying to keep track of a couple different sites when i'm doing this mm -hmm. and you guys will see the footage overlaid as we open these and of course um then a week or two after this video comes out i'll put out the full playthroughs that i did because i'll play each of these games for 10 20 minutes and then i only use like 30 seconds in this video and then i goof off and drink and talk about them in the others, so. <laughs> okay, we have some boobail wrap. Okay, all right. Hmm, oh, ooh, oh. Huh? I think there's like a big filler thing in here, that's why. So real quick, I was just gonna say, before you pull anything out, you can feel if you want or whatever, but mm -hmm. um, I have currently turned on Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, Super NES, um, Atari, uh, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, I think that's it. However, Hyperkin is bringing out the Retron 77. I have one pre-ordered, so we're going to start doing Atari 2600 as well. Okay. Okay, let's do it. I would say start with one of the smaller things that's under the top thing there. We'll build to the bigger carts, if you don't mind. Okay, don't look. I'm that not. feels like a big cart. That feels like a big cart. When you say small, you mean like Game Boy small? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, Ooh. got Dr. Mario. Ooh, that is an awful condition. Um, so yeah, that's pretty grimy. I was thinking, do I have this? And I was like, oh wait, no, I have it for NES, but I don't have it for Game Boy. Yeah. So hopefully this so will play. Basically it's, it's Tetris E. -ish. Yeah, yeah, it's very similar. Um, now with, with with all the games, oh, Famicom, Super Famicom, I also have those turned on. Mm -hmm. And with all the games I have, I have an alternate way of playing them if the if the 5, Retron 5 doesn't work, except for Game Boy style games. So hopefully this one works. Uh, hopefully you're seeing footage right now. I need to bring right you now. my Game Boy. Well, the thing is, I'm not exactly sure. That's a whole other system of hey, how do I actually capture that, so. Uh, you just set up your, your own that, thing. Then how do I actually look at, I mean, there, there's a whole other system involved. There are ways to do it. I just haven't learned them yet. Um, like you do your, your mini unboxings. No, I know, what, I know what you're saying, but there's ways to actually capture the screen so you uh, get the full pro proper colors and all that stuff. This should be really fun. This should be really cool. I am a little, because that's like just nasty. I mean, it's, I'm sure it's just marker and like sun damage, but it, it does make you wonder because it's like the color of snot. So it's like, oh, am I going to need Dr. Mario after touching this? That's the real question. All right, well, hopefully you guys got an eye full of that game. Hopefully it worked. If it doesn't, maybe I just played NES version and put up graphics like, yeah, I know, this isn't the Game Boy, but what you gonna do? <laughs> okay, I think we do just have four, and then there's like a big cardboard insert in here. That, or they gave us something really cool in the cardboard, but that's fine. All right, All right I pull out the other Game Boy. Ooh, Donkey Kong Country. That's this is a Game Boy Color. Color yeah. We got some loud neighbors outside. <laughs> um, you guys probably didn't hear it though. Good mics. Uh, so anyways, this is one of the crystal clear see-through ones. And I have been really enjoying uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze on the Nintendo Switch. Now I will say this one looks like it's in good shape. Because mm -hmm. it's clear, it's hard to tell. Actually the sticker, the label, everything about it looks really nice. Yeah. I never actually played this either, so I'm still kind of new to Donkey Kong stuff. And I am, well, I guess there is a big blip, blip, blip. I'm trying to say eight words at once. There's a big like kind of piece of the sticker picked off there a little bit. Oh yeah. I shouldn't say big, but that's fine. I'm not that worried about it. Overall, this looks really, really good. And hopefully the game is really good. I'm finding a lot of these Game Boy games can be really addictive, which is, 
Oh, and I don't mean like the new gaming disease addiction thing. I just mean <laughs> that you would think the Game Boy games would be the least interesting, but often they're more interesting than some of the others. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> like Super Mario Land, which is awesome. All right, here you can pretty much go either way. Okay, um, I will go with Genesis Road Rash 2. Mm, bless you. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so, pretty basic looking cartridge. Yeah. Good shape. Nothing too cool about the cover or anything, but I guess yeah. I'm assuming it's a racing game. I would assume so with a name like that. Or maybe it's a game where like you're in your friend's car and you have to jump out at different speeds for different points and try to, or who gets the best road rash? Like you're trying to scar yourself up. I'm gonna assume that's what it is. Yeah. That's likely, that's really likely. <laughs> I assume you guys are looking at the game and not her face right now. <laughs> but I think you can feel what her expression looks like. <laughs> yeah, the Genesis stuff is pretty cool. Cause I never really had a Genesis. It's get, it, getting used to that controller mm -hmm. has been very, very interesting. Have you gotten a proper Genesis controller? Oh yeah, I have, a, I have two Genesis controllers. Okay. Although I can't figure out what I've done with one of them. I have two classic NES controllers. Uh -huh. Although I can't figure out what I've done with one of them. <laughs> and then I finally found an, an actual original Super Nintendo controller. So I don't have to use that stupid, cause I love the Retron 5, but my God, that controller, the joystick is not good. <laughs> All right. So, um, I don't know, yeah, sure. Shit, well, yeah, that's probably enough gameplay. You guys probably don't care. You probably watched me crash a billion times already. Oh, that's right, I get to go, don't I? Yeah. I'm peeking. I think that is just gonna be a riser. Oh, we got us a Famicom. This looks interesting. Star. Luster. Is it Luster or Tuster since it's coming out of the T? Or maybe it's Jester? Star Jester? None of those options make sense. Oh, Luster. And luckily I looked up right as the camera was uh, cutting off. So anyways, while I was changing our card, Mary noticed um, Star Luster. She looked it up. There's the back of the cart. Mm -hmm. And now hopefully you're getting some awesome gameplay. I did have to buy the Hyperkin adapter <laughs> to play yeah. a Famicom the other day. And I had to run through like three different gaming systems to get the whole thing to work. But I finally got that one to play. Dang. Now, uh, at least with the Retron 5, I can get a re uh, translation patch, though I probably won't. Unless the game is fun enough to keep going on and yeah, playing. I'm feeling this might be a flight sim, I'm not sure. I'm cool with that. Kind of a space flight sim, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. I like those kind of games more than you do, I believe. Oh yeah, I can't do a flight sim to save my life. Hmm. Well, you know, I mean, I don't know. I, I, it's not that I'm good at them. I just enjoy doing them. Do you remember me in the, the Star Wars 3D? Oh God. Oh God, never again. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, hopefully that'll be cool. There was something else I was going to say about this though, and now I'm just totally blanked on what it was. Um, uh, yeah, all right. Well, anyways, oh, I know I was gonna mention, I was gonna blow the illusion. Hey, did you guys notice our shirts changed a few videos ago? <laughs> we actually did change shirts in the midst of shooting, like, this is our seventh unboxing in a row, but if you're going yeah. by shirts, you, would, you wouldn't believe that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just wanted to blow the, op the, the illusion there. Behind the scenes. Okay, so that's probably enough Star Luster. Let's see, I think that's just gonna be... Well, let's double check. Yeah. Uh, it does, yeah, I don't know, how, how you want to do it? Give me, give me the box, give me the box. I'm just, but, but I'm trying to like not show oh, okay. my address. That's why I was... Because <laughs> when it's on the bottom, I know people is like, why don't you just mark it out? It's like, because it becomes a real pain to mark all of these out all the time. Yeah, I, I, I think there's nothing in there. Sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> <I thought. laughs> yeah, there's nothing in there. Who's there? <laughs> no, I'll just toss it. No. This is how you do it. Oh. <laughs> but you got treasure! <laughs> oh, I don't want to toss that because I like keeping the games in the box for now. Alright, well that was actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy with those. Um, I think. Nothing really terribly stand out in here. I have a feeling of these, my favorite's going to be Donkey Kong. Uh, the Dr. Mario is one of those games that you'll just start playing. It's like Tetris. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and then you're just in there for hours before you know it. Yeah. Uh, I was doing that on Double Dragon the other night. Um, I don't know if that video's out yet. The unboxing is, but I don't know if my playthrough is. I played it for like 20 minutes, but I literally, like three minutes in, I said, I bet you this is one of those games where I'll just be playing and having a good time, and I'll look up before I know it, I've been playing for 20 or 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. <laughs> so I imagine Dr. Mario. You might as well finish playing the game because. No, I wasn't that that good. Uh, <laughs> I had to replay the first few levels. You know, uh, um, I wasn't playing with cheats. So. <laughs> I thought I did fairly well in the arcade. 
Well, that's when you also have more patience and stuff. And you, when I was filming, by that point, I was pretty. I, I was finishing a pretty heavy pour drink. So <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> No, I'm like literally making my guy dance back and forth to the song. Like it's it's that kind of <laughs> stupidity uh... <laughs> at that point. All right, so anyways, there you guys go. That's Retro Game Treasures for uh, June 2008. I dig it. I'm still digging it. I'm having fun playing these things. And hopefully you guys are liking the long plays. I usually put them out way late at night. It's not a big deal. It's just for those of you that are into them, uh, good, good show. But let us know. And again, if you guys have games you want us to play, uh, since he, I don't, I, I don't want to ask you guys for stuff. I'm not asking mm -hmm. you to do it, but I feel like a lot of these things you can pick up for two, three, five dollars. Maybe there's one you just want to see me or us get stupid and play. I always have a PO box at the very bottom of the description of every one of my videos. Feel free, just let us know. That's why you're sending it, is you'd like to see us play it, and we'll yeah. do it. So uh, other than that, though, let us know what you guys thought about this one. Which one's your favorite game? What kind of memories it has brought back for you? What kind of hardwares are you working on? Are you excited for the Atari 2600 stuff? Are you excited for the Retron 77? It looks pretty cool, man. <laughs> um, so let us know. Geek out with us in the comments. Click that thumbs up button. Give us that good old thumb of encouragement, as we do love to be encouraged. We're going to get out of here. We're going to go open up some more. I was almost like possessed if I could have just done that for eight words. We're going to go open up some more stuff. We'll see you all later. Thank you.